Okay, so I've been having trouble recording this video all night. Um, and so I'm using my iPad. So hopefully it turns out okay. This is not my preferred method of doing a tutorial. However, it will work. Okay, so let's yeah, dim that down a little bit. Okay, so here's the deal. So, um, that's good. Okay. Um, so what I basically do is, um, I have this little dauber. I get it from, I get these from Poly Clay Play. Uh, I also get my alcohol inks from Poly Clay Play, which I love. Uh, I'll link it in the bio, in the description below. Um, and so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kind of go along and show you um, how I do this. So I'm doing pink this time. I, I base coated this with a, a really light, a really light pink spray paint. Um, and I am gonna do, I'm gonna do like a red, like a, like a burgundy red pink ombre on this one. Um, that's gonna last. Um, okay, so basically, uh, I have these little pads. They're white. They're white, but I've already used that one. Um, so I have these little pads that I use for the um, for the alcohol ink, and they're a little they're a little fuzzy. So you might get some fuzz, some little pieces of fuzz, but you won't you won't notice them. Uh, they won't be noticed. They're not super noticeable. So and I just start at the top, and I just I just dab it about a third of the way down um, and if you'll notice that's more than a third of the way down that's okay that's okay we'll fix it um, if you'll notice like it's very smooth right there's not very much texture so okay uh, let me show you the cup that we're that we're that we're doing so I did this cup um, and I had a lot of people ask me about it and so I'm going to recreate it. So this is kind of ombre down, right? That's what we're going to do with this, but I'm going to do pinks. So I just see how smooth that is. There's not a lot of texture. So, but when I go back over for the second coat, it'll be much more textured. Um, just cause that's what alcoholing does. It does. It has really cool effects when you go over it more than once. So you see that hard line? That's because I overlap. So that's what it does when you overlap. Um, when you overlap the, uh, the ink that you've already done, it, it makes those hard, those really hard, really nice hard lines to give it that really cool texture. So, and this is, this is, um, this ink, the color is called Current. And it's like a deep maroon, burgundy, red. So this is this is what I'm using. Tim Holtz current alcohol ink. And so and I sometimes just like to add like I don't like to add too much, right? Because I can always add more, but I don't want to waste it. So um, this is where we're at. So I'm just gonna go over my second round. I'm gonna kind of leave the bottom. Um, I'm not going to do too much to the bottom because I'm going to use the second color to kind of blend that, right? So I'm just going to kind of do the top part. And I really just like to kind of just not try to get full coverage like I did the first time. Just kind of dabbing and, and leaving these, right? Giving it this texture. So I just kind of dab it. And then I let that dry. Sometimes I like to blow on it because it does cool things when you blow on it. Sometimes you can get some really cool effects um, with the blowing. And that's what I do. I just go around until I until I get it how I like it. Um, until I get it how I like it, and then I move on to the next color. 
So you see how cool that is? A really cool texture to it. And then um, and then I'll switch my I'll switch my my foam out. Um, I'm gonna use one that I used yesterday. Um, if I can find it. Maybe I can't. Okay, so I'll just use this one. This is fine. So I'll just use this one. Um, and the second color I'm going to use is a red. It's like a, it's called, it's, it's a marabou. And it's called Bordeaux. Um, and it's a, like a deep, this is what it looks like. See that red right there? It's a little deeper than it looks like on the camera. That had epoxy on it. So now my fingers are sticky. Um, anyway, it's fine. It's a little deeper than it looks like on the, on that stick. But then I'm just gonna, see how I kind of left that bottom, that bottom part undone? So I'm just gonna go over that and see, kind of blend it. Kind of blend into that so that it's kind of an ombre. And sometimes the dauber will kind of pick up some of that. It looks super bright, um, but it's all right. It'll be it'll be good. It'll still look good. Just just really, y'all trust the method. Like trust the trust it. Just trust it and keep going. Don't stop. Um, because in the end, you'll end up with something really cool, really super rad. So first layer, it's a little bright. Hang on, let me turn this down a little bit so you can kind of see better. Um, it looks good. It looks, it looks, it looks, it looks good. So I'm just going to go over it a second time and get some of that texture on the bottom. I might add, I might kind of mix the two together to kind of get a, a cool effect to kind of blend it in yeah see that's rad right there see oh yeah that's much better so I just mixed the two colors together and they turned out good so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do that and then I'll just go over it and um, Then I just go down to the bottom, to the bottom third, and I just do a light layer at the bottom, right? And kind of leave that just like I did at the first layer. And then I will, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of blend this in a little bit up here because this is kind of a hard line right there. I've got my garage door open, so I hope it's not too loud. Uh, and bothersome. Alright, so I'm going to switch this to my last color. And for the last color, I'm going to tell you, I have no idea what this is called. Um, <laughs> I had a little mishap um, when we were moving, and one of my um, one of my bottles of alcohol ink exploded and destroyed any evidence of what this might be named. So um, I just squirt a little on there and see this is like a like a pale pink, right? So when I blend this in, it's gonna look awesome. And we'll get that cool ombre. It's gonna be rad, y'all. And so it's like a, it's like a, just a light pink. It might even be called light pink or pale pink. I think it might be called pale pink. Um, 
think it might be called Pale Pink. But it's Tim Holtz, and um, I really like Tim Holtz inks. Uh, they seem to really have, they really have cool effects the way that, um, it, it's kind of a di different, they kind of act different than Marabou's. Um, I like them both, but I like them both in their own, in their own rights for their own reasons. The rainbow inks from Marabou are super, are super nice. Um, like the iridescent -y, cool colored ones so see see what I'm talking about here just trust the process because that looks awesome right it's a really nice cool ombre that we got going so just trust the process it'll always it'll always end up better than you think it will just keep going don't don't wait for it to be I mean don't stop just because you think it's not looking good because it will it will look good nine times out of ten I mean there's a rare instance you know and I don't want quite as much texture on the bottom I don't think um, so I'm just gonna add a couple little little spots here and then I'm just gonna call it good so I'll do the bottom I'll just I really just like to sometimes just I mean I just really just rub the bottom and then just dab it to give it a little bit of like to make it act right um, let's see that see how that turned out super cool so I'm just gonna give it a minute to dry because the tops already dry see that the tops already touchable so I just give it a few minutes to dry and I'll mix up some epoxy and then I'll show y'all um, what it looks like when I epoxy it. Okay, so we're back. Um, I'm back. <laughs> we're back together. Whatever. Um, so, okay, so this is what I use um, to put in the epoxy. This is an epoxy additive. It's called Marshmallow. You get it from Glitter Heart Company. I love me some Glitter Heart Company. Um, I've been using them for a while. I, I actually really only ever use them. Um, so, okay, so I get this. I it's just it just really y'all like takes a tiny amount like let me show you that's too much like this this small this small little amount right here is all it takes to sparkle up this epoxy um so I'm gonna mix the epoxy first. I was gonna, I was gonna just dump it in there. I haven't mixed the epoxy yet. So this is, um, I use Artistry epoxy. Um, I really like their epoxy. It's super smooth. Uh, it cures like glass, and it cures fast. I, 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 I hear some people have issues with it in in different temperatures. I live in Houston. It's hot. It's humid. Um, and I have zero problems. Like I have, ne I, I don't think I've ever had a problem with artistry epoxy. Um, it just turns out so good. Just cures like glass. Uh, and even I'm mixing pretty fast, y'all. And like the bubbles, just almost non-existent. So. Anyway, it turns out it's it's really good stuff. I love it. And I have a, a discount code for them too. So if you're looking for a new epoxy or whatever, um, I will post a link to Artistry and um, I will put my coupon code in there so y'all can take advantage of that. 10% off um, epoxy if you want to try it. It's it's so good. I've tried several. I've tried several epoxies, and I, and I liked some other ones, um, but this one is above and beyond. Like, so just a tiny little smidgen of this, of this marshmallow dust is all it takes. And I'll just show you. I'll show you the epoxy and what it looks like with this marshmallow dust in it. I mean, look at that. Uh, can y'all see that? Can you see the sparkle? Hang on, let me let me try to tilt you. Okay. 
Can y'all see the sparkle in that? It's so good. There we go. Alright. Alright, so I'm going to get my handy dandy glove. I probably should have already had my gloves on. I am not as good at PPE as I should be. Y'all, wear your PPE. It's, um, it's good for you. I am a little reckless as a human being and should be more intentional about it, but alas, I am not. So, let me get this to turn the right direction. I don't like to, oh. stuff down. There it goes. Alright, so um, so I'll just just coat it and you'll see hopefully when it comes back around how sparkly it is. You see the sparkle? Can you see it already? Yeah. And it doesn't take very long for the for the um, the alcohol ink to dry and I never steal my alcohol ink I know some people do some people swear that it has to be done I don't uh, to each his own if you do then hey that's that's all good like it's all good uh, there's no judgment like if you if you find that to be necessary then do it man uh, everybody has their own style, their own way of doing things, but this is just mine. So let me, yeah, see, looks so good. Um, and so I'll just, I'll take a quick video with a flash on of it spinning and y'all can see, um, how good it looks. <laughs> 